My name is Robin Lamasdain. I come from the United States and I'm a professor of applied econometrics at Erasmus School of Economics. If I could pass on wisdom to students, I think the thing I would tell them is to be open to opportunities. Every new challenge is an opportunity to learn new things, um, to try new things, to, to learn about yourself, and to always embrace new ideas and, and be interested in learning. So my first visit to Erasmus University was back in 1997, and I was a new uh, assistant professor. I had just finished my PhD, and I remember thinking of Erasmus as time series heaven because I was a time series econometrician, and what I discovered here at Erasmus was a, a large collection of faculty and students that were interested in time series uh, and, and in econometrics more generally. Over the years, I came back to Erasmus often, uh, almost every year, and over time, um, the faculty, some of the faculty here at Erasmus asked if I would be interested in hosting students from Erasmus to do research internships with me at various institutions. And so I started doing that, hosting students, uh, roughly one a semester, and, and to date I've hosted 11 students. And, and through working with the students, I discovered I really liked the education here. I think the one thing that keeps me going is, is the love of learning. I, I always like taking on new things, learning new things, and that's what keeps me uh, active in, both in my career and in life. I'm most proud of the work that I've done with the students um, and all the different papers uh, that we've written together. I work on a wide variety of topics and, and actually one of the things that, that got me interested, one of the reasons that I liked doing econometrics was because I could take all the mathematical tools uh, and skills that I knew and apply them to a wide variety of topics um, and, and real world issues. So uh, when, when I think about how to describe my research, the answer I always give is that I'm interested in how people's perceptions are related to reality as described by evidence and data. So for example, if a person thinks they're healthy, they may not go to the doctor. Um, and if they postpone going to the doctor, then uh, some disease or, or some illness that they have will be diagnosed later. Uh, and that will affect the likelihood that they recover from the disease. Whereas if somebody is worried that they're not healthy, they're more likely uh, to go to the doctor more often. They'll probably get diagnosed earlier and that will also affect their outcome. So in my research, I tend to use survey data um, where people are asked about uh, the chances that things will happen. So for instance, uh, a typical question would be something like on a scale of zero to 100, where zero means absolutely no chance and 100 means absolute certainty, what are the chances that you'll live past age 75? And typically surveys that ask questions like this, these are called subjective response questions, typically surveys will ask a, a variety of questions of this type. If we both answered 70 to the question, what are the chances that uh, you'll, uh, your savings won't, um, won't be sufficient in retirement, uh, 70 means different things to us. Uh, and so, so it's important to adjust people's responses to take into account uh, the, the range that they're comfortable with in answering uh, the questions. So my second area of research uh, relates to or focuses on financial crises and banking and, and a lot of the ideas from of that research stems from my time at the Federal Reserve. The Financial Stability Board defines a systemically important financial institution as one who because of its size, level of interconnectedness or complexity, if it were to get into trouble, would cause a problem for the greater financial system. When we think about size, most of the regulations uh, that exist are focused on a firm's size. And in fact, that focus on size often gives rise to the idea of, of too big to fail, or I think that's where the, the moniker of too big to fail came from. And if we think about interconnectedness, that was at the heart um, of the Lehman Brothers crisis, uh, that Lehman Brothers had a lot of exposure to other firms, and it took the regulators a long time to uh, determine how uh, those connections, um, where those connections were. I've tried to work in the area of complexity to come up with a definition for complexity and to define measures uh, to help regulators measure complexity. And the definition that we use for complexity is, is an organization that, um, because of its organizational structure, poses coordination challenges. 